All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. And now we're gonna go to the North Plaza where Isabel is to unlock the laptop. Uh, we took the quick step right now, so we should get there relatively quickly than usual. I mean, that's the name of the game, right? Quick step, get there quickly. But uh, hopefully, the locket will have some sort of clue that Isabel needs to. Um... Oh, wow! That that took forever. Wow. But uh, hopefully, there's that's the clue she needs to unlock the laptop. We'll see. Hopefully, if not, they're they're pretty much stuck. But then again, I mean, they could take the laptop with them, right? If um, so yeah, take Kate, take it to like a hacker or something. Nothing is password protected, let's be real. If someone really wants to get to your computer, they can get to your compu computer. It's encryption that um, is the name of the game, you know? Um, if you encrypt something, then that means it's harder to get to. And it's not just password protected, it's like a whole system thing, right? But uh, if, if you just password protect something like your phone or laptop, people can get to it, you know? Don't, don't think you're protected just by that. Of course, two-way auth uh, authentication can work too. That could be a good security method. All right, let's see what's up. He's dead. All he worried about was you in the end. But damn it! He died without telling me a damn thing. You know, I thought he was terrorist scum. All he really cared about was his sister. The jerk. Here. He wanted you to have this. Did you figure it out? Pachamama. Mother Earth. Our parents said that a lot. The place we lived. Santa Cabeza was blessed with nature. <laughs> Please believe me. When I say my brother didn't want all this, he only wanted to live in peace in Santa Cabeza. Damn, their parents.
<clears throat> now we done everything. <clears throat> we have everything, all the cases, the facts, all cases closed, but dot, dot, dot. Oh, I hate that. I hate when that screen pops up. All cases closes, but it, it gives me like uh, goosebumps. Every time I see that screen I, as a kid, it, it always gave me goosebumps. But, you know, there's always a but. There's still more. So now, check it out. We got, oh, we got Cheryl's request. Let's go to Cheryl before, before we forget. <laughs> Even though at this point, I could care less about a mutiny. Oh, we may not actually be able to do Cheryl's request, which at this point, it doesn't really matter. But because I think a cutscene's gonna happen. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we'll we'll be able to do Cheryl's request. <laughs> oh shit, we fucked up. Oh well. I could care less now. You want a mutiny? Have a mutiny. <clears throat> Frank, the emergency line's been freed up. I'll give headquarters a call. Hang on. This is Agent Jessica McCarney. We have an emergency situation. Oh, so she got through. Damn, remember in the beginning they were on that laptop and all that shit and the phone calls? They finally were able to go through. Well, she, Brad, is nowhere to be found. I'm pretty sure Jesse knows the deal too, that Brad hasn't made contact or anything like that. Damn, so the DHS agents are going to be showing up now, right? Hopefully. To save our butts. Alright, so as you, if you can tell, as you, you know, if, if you haven't guessed, we're pretty much near in the game right now. So we're going to find out exactly what happens and how things go over. And uh, hopefully we get a happy ending, you know? Even though my happy ending is already ruined, considering I didn't save all the survivors. <laughs> but what can you do? I mean, it gives me a reason to play this again, right? And uh, hopefully I'll have a fan base uh, to the point where people want to see me play this again. And I'll probably do it in a Halloween event. Like, I, I, I love the spooky atmosphere. Like, I'll probably do, like, a like a 24-hour run of this game just to beat it in one shot in Halloween. I think that'll be awesome. But... I need the viewers, but we'll see what happens in the future, Frank, right? <laughs> it's over. HQ's decided to ignore us. No oh, shit. What? what do you mean, ignore us? I contacted headquarters, but... The government has decided to deny all knowledge of what happened here. Special forces will arrive for cleanup at midnight. They'll take everyone out. Zombies, people, everyone. Damn. Yeah, she's all alone. All right, let's see if we can help her out. Let's go back there, man. Shit. Fuck, that sucks. I'm still curious as to see if we can still do Cheryl's request. I don't think we can. <laughs> I don't know why it's making us feel like we can still do it. Should I do quick step? Ah. There's really no need for it. <laughs> we got a lot of quick stuff for no reason at this point. It's not like we're in a time limit anymore. We pretty much got everything we need. We're just going through the motions with the story at this point. But still, I, I, I always love quick step. Even in Dead Rising 2, I always use quick step.
Alright, so it's nighttime. They said special forces will arrive at midnight, which uh, shouldn't be too long, right? Let's see. Yeah, no, it's about to be, yeah. We're almost near midnight. So, let's see what happens. Jessica McCartney? Talk about your close calls. You contacted us just in time. Your boss thought we should have a talk with you before the operation begins. We'll be taking you into custody. If you sign an agreement to keep your mouth shut about all this, you'll be free to go. She's a zombie. Damn, he ripped... She ripped his tongue out. Or his neck or something. I don't know. Fuck. So, Jesse's a zombie. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, while all this is happening, I really don't think I can do Cheryl's request. What the hell? Why is it still... And they gave you so much time, too. Like, it's kind of weird. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to do Cheryl's request, because I know what Cheryl's request is. I've done it before, and... I don't think I'll have... Uh, I don't know, but we'll see. <laughs> Jesse? <sighs> Damn. Yeah, so, I mean, Frank's not stupid. <laughs> he knows something's up. I wouldn't have said anything, because, uh, you know... In case they, they think you're connected, they would have found out and killed you. Even though, I mean... They probably will still kill him because Frank is a reporter, not a freaking agent, you know? Damn, Jesse did some work here. Oh, he saw he saw her glasses. Yeah, he knows. He knows. He's not dumb. He knows. And Jesse is right out here. Now, if you take a picture of Jesse, perfect. You get an achievement, uh, which is snuff shot J. Um, yeah. Then you can kill her. I don't know. I mean. Can we get an upstairs shot? I don't know. Fantastic. Oh yeah, look at that erotica. That's 900. So there, that erotica can work for you too, for Ken or whatever. Yeah. But uh, wow, we finished all our <laughs> our film. Battery has been depleted. Please change batteries. All right. Yeah. There's a note on the table. Frank, while you were out, some crazy people snuck in from the rooftop and started snatching people. I heard hell of racket coming from where the monitors are, so I'm taking advantage of the confusion and stealing a helicopter. I might not look at the type, but I got a small aircraft pilot's license. Okay, that's Otis, by the way. Hmm. I haven't seen Jesse. There's no time to look for her now. I gotta get out while the getting's good. I hope you don't think I'm a coward. If we meet on the other side, I definitely owe you a drink. Good luck, Frank. Otis Washington. Oh, man, that was Otis. So, yeah, we can't do Cheryl's request. Cheryl is nowhere here. You see, I knew it. This was going to happen. But, um, what Cheryl does is, um, she, she's the girl that was, like, with a skimpy outfit in the, when we were at the movie theaters. And she gives you 
massive amounts of erotica points. So you can also use that for Kent too. Um, you don't have to use Jesse. You can use her too. But she's at the end of the game. Whereas with Jess, you can get it a couple of missions before you actually meet Kent. So you don't have to like replay the game. But uh, yeah, so this chick will give you massive erotica points. Um, I mean, there's different ways you can get erotica points. Uh, that's what you really need basically to progress with Kent's mission arc. But yeah. So, as you can see, dead people here, special forces, can't even do nothing because nothing my batteries are dead. It's walled to shut. Uh, now what we could do is, well actually there's not that much we can do. Um, yeah, I think this is the part where we just kill some time. Yeah, this is the part where we're going to have to like kill a lot of time. Uh, it's about to be... That's be 12 when the special forces arrive. I think when the special forces arrive, that's when the mission picks up, but I'm not sure. I'll have to remember to keep some bees too, because bees will be important to what we need to do later on in the game. Damn, we're about to finish this game. This is awesome. Shit, we're about to finish it. I'm excited now. I mean, I was a little down before, but now I'm excited. Oh, by the way, also, if you want to charge your batteries again for your um, picture, right? All you have to do is go near the photography shop. That's near right here where we just came out of. And you can just go over here and change batteries. See, batteries change, and now you have 30 again. Um, you really don't need batteries anymore for I mean you don't need to take pictures anymore but you know it is what it is right now that I have free time I can actually look for some shoes <laughs> we need some shoes so let's go look around for some shoes uh, this is uh yeah this is men's right yeah this is men's so let's see we have some what we got here yeah there we go Nice pair of um, black soles, right? Yeah. All right, there we go. Now we got the shoes. Um, what what else can we do while we were waiting? We have access to Wonderland Plaza, but what is there to do really? Nothing much. Nothing much. We can. I mean, I mean, I I, I guess I can just look around and see what I've missed. Uh, in terms of items that I can grab for the next time I play, I know where to go and stuff like that. Like where the food items are, but even that, it's, it's just, it's whatever. It's really nothing, yeah. Nothing of interest here that would make me want to go back and play the game. We got the guitar shop over here. Yeah. I think you can make a sick beat with this, right? Yeah, I think I can make a, a, like, so, a, like a rift or something if there's like a lot of zombies nearby. So let's see, let me try it out. Oh, it's 12 o'clock. There we go. They're arriving now. Oh, they're actually arriving at the entrance plaza. All those bullets. So now we have to deal with these guys. Um, 
what's cool about these guys is that they drop massive amounts of uh, points too. So in case you need yeah. to level up, you can definitely farm these guys. I'm trying to make a rift. Come on, man. I can't make the rift. There you go. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. There, put it back down. Um, no missions. Yeah, no missions. But what's interesting is uh, there will be something interesting outside in the park. Um, hopefully, we'll get to see it. Yep, and uh, you can actually hear it. It's a helicopter. Now this helicopter is going to be shooting like crazy, so we may need to duck and cover here. As you can see, the helicopter is actually killing people here. Some zombies are already dead. I'll take this to get a little quicker. Oh yeah, it throws RPG by the way. It throws explosives, so <laughs> that's gonna be crazy. All right, we're, we're gonna actually have to like waste some time. So that's the only issue here while we're wasting time. What we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna put that close the door here, and that should be it. Food items feel. No, I don't need this book. Alright, and yeah, in the next part, we'll uh, be able to progress forward, but as of right now... Oh, shit, is he gonna come in? Oh, no, he's just guarding. Alright, cool. Alright, guys, I'll see you in the next part. We're almost done with the game, so don't, don't go anywhere.